Hi, hello everyone. Um, good afternoon. Happy Sunday, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Ronke Kiru Ladimiji, or known as the Bironke Quadri on Facebook, inviting you to a short live feed this afternoon, this Sunday afternoon. How's your weekend going? You're getting ready for for the new start of the week. Yes, I'm preparing for the week to start tomorrow. Um, this is going to be a short live feed in response to the comments on my page yesterday um, where I put in that, um, do you know that constipation can lead to some health conditions and um, it seems a lot of people doesn't actually believe constipation can be a problem most people don't actually realize that this can be an issue so this is the reason why i did put there yesterday that i was going to respond through a life feed i'm just trying to invite some more people i'm going to be starting in earnest you know um, few of you that knows me or if you have listened to any of my video before you will know that I'm very passionate about talking about health um, lifestyle issues things that affect us as a human being especially as black and ethnic minority people you know a lot of these things we take for granted and they are quite important to us actually so in view of um, some recent events and happenings in my life, I did put out two or three days ago that I was going to be starting a series called Do You Know? Do you know? Do you know that some of the health conditions, I'm just trying to invite people, I will be starting very shortly, um, that I was going to be doing a short series called Do You Know? Talking about general things, simple things that most people don't um, believe are important. Simple changes that we can make to affect our lifestyle positively. And I put a question there yesterday that do you know that constipation can lead to illnesses or cause some health situations? And ironically, I think that's enough. Let's start. Most people don't actually believe that um, constipation is a serious problem, that is a near enough problem to cause issues. And um, people were like, really? Is that correct? Is that possible? Is it possible that constipation can cause problems? Most people don't actually believe constipation is an issue. That is, that is a problem. So I was surprised at that response. And I said, you know what? I was going to do a live feed and um, let's talk about it. So why do you think it's all right to be constipated? You know, over time, the short answer to it is that yes, constipation especially when it becomes chronic, can be a major, major health problem. And this is one condition that can easily be treated, that can easily be managed. It's one of those situations that you can adjust with just healthy lifestyle choices. Um, kindly help share this video if you're online just to get more awareness. This is an awareness talk. You know, this is some of the things I like to do. Encourage and, um, you know, encourage each other and um you know not necessarily teach but for us to learn together actually constipation is a major problem most people don't know that but yes it is especially if you're a woman especially if you're a woman you shouldn't be getting constipated over and over when you get constipated repeatedly you it only symbolizes one thing that you're not in the best state of health if you're the type that hardly goes to the toilet on a regular basis, someone will tell them why is poo important. Poo is actually very, very important. If you look at it, what is poo? Why do we pass stool? It's basically a waste. A waste product of digestion, of all the things we've eaten, maybe in the course of the day or in the course of several days, that is whole staying in your colon that needs to get out of the system. So what happens if you don't pass out this tool? It becomes toxic, stays in us over time. And as a result of these toxicities, one or two things can happen. One, it can lead to blockage. Two, can cause bacterial infection. In women, actually, chronic constipation has been linked to some of the female cancers. Believe it or not. 
especially in women, it has actually been linked to some of the cancers that females develop, especially cancers of the reproductive organs. Because what happens is that when you're constipated, you hold the stool in your, in, your, uh, in your colon instead of passing it out. This forms like a bulk in your colon and enlarges the colon. I mean, the, the length of that colon is actually not the issue. It's the fact that the excess weight that that colon carries around, instead of this to come out of you, re find a way to go back into your liver, makes increase in estrogen production, excess estrogen in, the problem, in, um, in, in women is one of the things that leads to cancer of, the, um, cancer of the colon and especially cancer of the cervix. And this is something that when we eat healthily, when we eat the right kind of food, can easily, can easily deal with. One of the things that I'm passionate about online talking about is water, drinking water. Why? Because when you drink enough water, when you drink at least three liters of water a day, the chances of you becoming constipated is actually very, very slim because water won't one of the things water does is help to flush your system, flush out toxins from your system, help to rehydrate. Apart from that, help to actually dislodge this bulk that form in the system. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is just um, a short video, really, in response to the question I put on yesterday. That I was asking question that do you know that constipation can lead to some health challenges? And uh, people were like, really? Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. When you are the type that hardly moves your bowel regularly, ideally everybody should open their bowel at least once a day. At least. That is the normal one. Some people open twice a day, that's okay if that is your routine. But not opening your bowel in 24 hours, in 48 hours, or you know, that is actually not good enough. This is when conditions like chronic constipation begins to develop and over time this can actually lead to some serious illnesses one of them being cancers especially in women you wouldn't think it's possible for, for constipation to do that but trust me it does and come to think of it majority of us at one point or the other we get bloated and that is normal maybe you eat things that you shouldn't eat maybe you eat a lot of beans you eat a lot of lentils that your system cannot digest that is fine but when this process becomes a repeated process over time you're constipated today the next day you cannot go to the toilet the third day you cannot go to the toilet trust me it symbolizes one thing that you are not in good state of health looking at it in a layman kind of kind of understanding why should we hold waste in our system if you look at it that way? For instance, look at your waste bin. You pour in things into it day in, day one, day two, day three, day four. By the fifth day, it begins to smell. In the same vein, when you eat this excess product of this food that is digested in your system that needs to come out at waste, as waste, your colon is only designed by nature. The way God has made us is that colon is just there to hold tool for a short period of time is just a passage it's like a pipe hold this tool allows this tool to pass through it comes through your anus and come out then you 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 know pass it out as well and let it go but if you are constipated what happens is that your colon begins to hold on to your stool it begins to get solidified harden up harden up over time it enlarges that colon over a period of time, this is actually like the, start, the starting point of things like colon cancer. So, why should we allow that to happen? I mean, everybody hates that word, cancer. Currently, I have sick people around me and I know what it means to spend money on health. Even though I'm a health campaigner, it doesn't mean people around you will not be sick, but our duty as human beings is to keep enlightening each other. We need to continue to encourage each other we need to continue to learn together and one of the simplest things we can do to prevent constipation is actually to drink you know i've perfected the heart of drinking three liters of water a day and when i find myself in africa i actually drink four because it's a lot easier because the weather is hot there is actually no excuse not to pass tool every day no it simply shows that you're not drinking enough water when you don't drink when you get constipated, your body becomes acidic. It actually increases acidity in you. Most of us, 
or don't let me say most, everyone, our body should actually be in an alkaline situation. And one of the things that promotes alkalinity in our system is drinking. Apart from the fact that you rehydrate when you drink, it helps waste to move easily through you. Hello, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. Kindly help share the video. This is just uh, one. I'm, I'm doing a series I call the Do You Know series. You know, asking basic question of health issues. You know, simple health, simple lifestyle issues that we that all of us can benefit from. And today is all about constipation. And simply because I asked the question yesterday, do you know that constipation can lead to, to illnesses? And people were like, really? Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Especially in women. Especially in ladies. It is very, very possible. Why? One of the things that constipation can do, chronic constipation in women, is the fact that the women respirate, um, reproductive organ, that is our uterus, is very close to the rectum. So when you hold your stool in the rectum and you don't pass it over time hello good evening sis how are you thank you i know i've not been online for a while i've been i've uh, had a lot of challenges my dad is very unwell so he's been in the hospital he's been quite tough for the family so i've been very very busy dealing with all those issues that's why i've not been coming but today we're talking about health you know basic health issues constipation focusing on that and how it can affect our lives how it can make life difficult for us as human beings, how it means that when you are regularly constipated, it means you're not in the best state of health, it means you're not drinking enough water, it means you're not eating enough fruit and vegetables, it means you're not consuming enough fibers in your food. And these are things that are readily available. It means your lifestyle choice generally is not, is not right. Oh, thank you, ma. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it, I just need prayers, to be honest with you. I hope it makes a turn around soon. It's not very well, but God knows best. I mean, thank you. So, I'm, I'm saying that when you're, when you're regularly constipated, it means your lifestyle choice is actually not right. It means you must be looking in what as to the things you can change. And one of the simplest, simplest things you can do to improve that situation is to drink. Water is very, very cheap. Water is free almost everywhere in the world. You can drink directly from your tap. Do you even know that actually the water from the tap is less acidic than some of the ones we buy in the bottle? I was amazed when I read that somewhere. So drink, drink at least three liters of water every day. Don't get your system into a toxic situation where your colon is regularly holding toxins that you should be passing out. So in women, when your body holds toxins and your liver is unable to get rid of these toxins, is actually our health is our weight. A lot of us are ignorant. That's true. Most people are ignorant of their health situation. You're very correct. That when your liver continuously holds these toxins and you don't pass it out as regularly as you should, it eventually leads to increase in estrogen production in women. And when that happens, excess estrogen in women is actually one of the things that predisposes to the reproductive cancers in women. Another thing that is very glaring from constipation is that because the rectum in the, in the women is so close to the uterus, that's, that's our uterus where we hold our babies, it can make it, especially, like, this is for ladies of childbearing age, it makes it a lot easier for you to develop the condition they call the rectal prolapse. Because you're enlarging your colon over time is stretching out because of the excess waste is holding. And when rectal prolapse happens, what happened? I, I don't know if many people have heard of um, when people sneeze, when some people sneeze, they pass urine or when they are licking st stool and all that. These are the extreme things that constipation can actually do. And it amazes me that simple things that we can do to improve our lifestyle, we, we don't do it. And people suffer from all these conditions. They do. Apart from that, look at it from a layman situation. When you are constipated, you actually don't feel good in yourself. Do you know that in the elderly, constipation is one of the things that leads to depression in adult, in the elderly. I mean, when I'm talking about our parents, like people of 65 years and above, when they don't move their bowel properly, they get so distressed. They get so uncomfortable. When people are excessively constipated, they cannot sleep. Just because of this waste they have in them. I, I walk in the hospitals, I see elderly coming in with chronic constipation that you have to give them enemas to actually get them to be able to sleep. Imagine that distress. 
This is just because they are, they are not drinking enough water to help the bowel to move. So when you and I can do something about it now, why don't we just take on board? You know, that just they make that simple change. Just that simple change of drinking three liters of water a day. Get your system into it, you know, from acidic point because when you hold excess toxins, it, it increases the acidity in you. Our body should not be acidic. We should actually be less acidic. When you drink water, you help to actually reduce this acidity in your system. Do you know that? You do that. It helps, you know, you feel good within yourself. When you open your bowel, you feel light. It actually head in weight loss management as well. So these are some of the simple, simple things we need to do to, to help ourselves to move our bowel. So yes, in response and in answer to that question that can constipation lead to health, um, to deteriorating health, of course, yes. Constipation can make our life miserable. It can make our health deteriorate our health and it can actually lead to serious health condition what do you think of drinking infused water is that more cleansing than pure water oh okay um there are different school of thoughts about drinking infused water personally i love infused water a lot because i love my uh, my lemon in my water i do that almost every day but what i discover is that for people that are prone to acidity of the teeth the more you do that the more your teeth are prone to becoming acidic so don't make it like what I do now is I drink infused water for five days and I drink plain water the remaining two days of the week. So I do like five to two kind of situation. I don't do it every day. So when I do five days of my infused water with um, lemon especially, and sometimes I use um, apple cider vinegar in my water, I do two days of pure water just to neutralize the system. Because let's face it, we won't be in a situation whereby you can keep up with keeping you know, maintaining your diet plan every day. We are human. Sometimes the, your system needs a break and it's important to give it that. And another thing is that you don't want to get stem into a point where it's so regimented to such an extent that when you don't do it anymore, you then become unwell. And one good example of that, of, of what I'm talking about is this. Do you know that when we take antibiotics, as good as antibiotics is, when antibiotics destroy these bacteria that they are meant to do, good point, the side effect of it, though, is it can actually destroy one of the normal floras that is the good bacteria in our tummy. Now, the new system in the UK, I don't know whether they are doing it in America now, but what we advocate now is when anybody is now on antibiotics, they encourage them to take the probiotics as well. Like the, the probiotic you get from Actimel, you know, the Actimel yogurt. So they encourage them to take the probiotic as well so as to protect the normal flora in the bacteria from it, so that the, the antibiotic will not destroy this normal flora of bacteria that the body actually needs. Because one of the function of the normal flora of the bacteria is it actually helps to soften your stool. So when the stool is softened, thank you, that's my husband trying to get my attention, that when your stool is softened, you are able to pass it a lot easier. That is one of the good things that the Actimel does to you. So a lot of innovations, a lot of new knowledge is happening out there. So instead of us to remain in the dark and think, oh, it's just no, no, it's not normal to believe we don't know. There are so many informations out there. If you don't know, ask. If you don't know, ask. So to just, I don't want this to be a long video, to be honest with you. Um, can I... Please ask your questions. Let's make this interactive. Apple cider helped me lose belly fat. But I find very tired when I'm on it. Looks like it shrinks my sugar level. Yes. Uh, well, actually, apple cider is really, really good for belly fat. You're very correct. However, it's not something you can use in excess. You, I, I feel, yeah. You, I don't, personally, I don't do apple cider vinegar every day. When I do apple cider vinegar... I do one cup of apple cider, I drink my water in between. I just try to neutralize everything I take. Ask questions. Yeah, ask questions. If you have questions, kindly ask. Actually, it's, you're very correct. You know, we all have different metabolism and it's very important for you to understand what your system needs and how your system reacts. Some people will go as far as drinking aloe vera and it works very good for them. Meanwhile, some people will take it and they will react badly to it. So which is the reason why when people are on our diet plan 
I try, I always like to do like individualized kind of plan for everyone that find out what works for you. Just like some people cannot tolerate lemon or some people cannot tolerate lime because it's too acidic for them. And so you know what, if you can't do it, don't do lemon, do celery instead because celery is completely zero acidity. And yet it's bulk forming as well. Yet it helps to neutralize the system as well. Yes, it helps to detoxify you as well. And it contains a lot of water. Similar to cucumber. Cucumber has a lot of water. So it's about making all this conscious change in our head. And they are very easy to do. If you are one of those that struggle to eat your fruits and vegetables the way you should do them, then, you know, these days there are lots of helps out there. We shouldn't really struggle to spend money on ourselves because what I've discovered now is that when you don't take care of your health, when you eventually become sick, you will spend all this money anyway. Within the last two weeks, I cannot tell you how much we have spent on my father who has been on admission in last suit for almost two weeks now. It's a lot of money. Why? He's been diabetic for more than, for almost 20 years now. He's hypertensive as well. Complications are about to set in. So why not prevent all these illnesses? Prevent it now by spending money on you, making small lifestyle changes. And what are these changes we are talking about? Drink more water. We all need it. The more water you drink, the more you can concentrate, the easier it is for you to open your bowel, the less acidic your body will be, and the prettier you will actually be on the cosmetic side of it because your skin to go everything will improve. Another thing you can do to heavily prevent constipation, there is no hard and fast rule. Fiber. You can't go wrong. Eat more and more fiber. Husk. Oatmeal. Modify your diet. Join a good health plan. Spend your money on you. Eat more fruits and vegetables. There was this um, wide campaign of um, five fruits and vegetables every day. That has changed. That has changed. It's no longer five. WHO, World, Org 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 World Health um, Organization, actually wants us to eat at least 10 portions of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis now to maintain health. That is what the medical people are saying. And do you know that in places like Japan and in China, they are not talking about five. They are neither talking about 10. They are talking about 17 portions of fruits and vegetables for an average adult. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm loving these comments that are coming in. Fruits and vegetables are in supermarkets are coming. These days are filled with chemicals. You're very correct, which is the reason why we encourage people to go organic. But be, truth be told, how many people can afford organic fruits and vegetables? They are not cheap. No, they are not cheap, which is why my product comes in. I'm very passionate about Juice Plus, to be honest with you, because it's a well-researched product that gives you the opportunity to eat your fruit and vegetable, organic fruits and vegetable, just in capsules form. I don't call them medications because they are not medicines. They are simply food supplements, and that is what their market has. Juice Plus fruit and vegetable supplements, the berries, they are market and, you know, and licensed as nutrition food so if you're one of those that are struggling to buy organic fruits and vegetables because of the cost it's a lot cheaper for you to come on our premium capsules which gives you 30 27 to 30 portions of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis when you do that there is no way you can be constipated that actually helps you to relieve constipation apart from that it helps to promote general health and well-being in you, help to boost immunity. When you're not constipated, your immune response is higher. When you're not constipated, you sleep better. When you're not constipated, your body is less acidic. When you're not constipated, your colon is not enlarged. The risk of colon cancer is reduced in both male and female when you're not periodically constipated. And especially for women, when you deal with issues of constipation, the risk of developing the reproductive-related cancers actually reduces. So what are we talking about? What do you need to do? Drink more. Drink three liters of water a day. Everything counts apart from alcohol. Your tea, your cup of tea, your apple cider vinegar that you want to drink. And when I say cup of tea, I'm talking about decaffeinated tea. I'm not a promoter of caffeine because 
mental health is a very big deal for me. People need to sleep. As a as young generation, we don't sleep enough. I'm one of them. We need to sleep more. So the less caffeine you have in your system, the better your sleep will get. So anything that will promote your sleep, do it. Get your decaffeinated tea, chamomile tea, peppermint tea. You know, the herbal tea, they are very cheap now. Virtually every supermarket have them. Even in Nigeria, you have green tea everywhere. Even in Nigeria now. So the awareness is there. People is creating it. And if you don't want to do it, just soak your lemon in water. Some people say they cannot drink water because it is bland. Fine. Put your lemon in it. Put something in it to encourage you to, 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 encourage you to, to drink more. What's that? Green tea is great. Oh, you can say that again. Green tea has massive benefits. Do you actually know that um, the Chinese and the Thai, Thai, um, the Thai people, they drink green tea after every hot meal they have? And research has proven that of the people, every one of us in the world, the Chinese have the highest, they live longest than any other person than any other race in the whole world why is that chinese drink a lot of water they drink more green tea they drink at least three cups of green tea every day the chinese don't eat meat they don't eat red meat like we eat them they do a lot of seafood crabs you see you see their meal the way it is they don't eat, they don't take heavy carbohydrates they are lighter this is where the issues around obesity comes in the lighter you are, the healthier you will feel. That is the truth. The more water you drink, the lighter you become. Because you are less constipated when you drink. Today is all about constipation. Poo matter is a very important matter. Don't hold poo in you, especially if you're a woman. And as you get older, once we are approaching that golden age of 50, trust me, your gut, that's your stomach health, is so important. You cannot joke with it. Elderly come into the hospital because they are dehydrated. They get really badly constipated and they cannot sleep. Just imagine that. Even young person, when you're bloated, you know how you feel. You, 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 you have this disgusting taste that comes from, from indigestion. How much more where you cannot actually pass it? It's true. If you don't pull, you can kill. It's, it's the truth. It does kill the elderly people. It is the truth. Bowel obstruction from constipation. It does. So what are we talking about? Let's love ourselves more to spend a little money on ourselves. I talk about, you see me post shakes every day. I wanted to lose weight. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm no longer on weight loss plan. All I do now is I eat healthily. But what do I do? I take my shakes. I don't joke with it. Why? Because in each scoop of my Juice Plus shake that I take, I get 17 portions of fruit and vegetable. My husband was like, my God, your diet is almost as good as vegetarian. No, that's actually not true. I do a lot of fruit and veggie, but I still eat. I eat chicken. I eat fish as well. But I eat a lot of fruit now. And I know that every blessed day, as long as I take my Juice Plus Premium Capsules, I'm taking at least 30 portions of fruit and vegetables. Why? This year, since I've been in the UK, this is the first year that I've not taken any flu jab. I didn't take flu jab at all this year and I've not had flu. I've not been sick for every day. I've traveled, you know, my activities is so I'm working really hard. I'm going around and maintaining my weight because I'm eating healthily. The impact of knowledge. This is what we learn on our plan. Trust me, when you join a very good health plan and you promote it and stick with it, it becomes part of you. Your whole family becomes healthier for it. As a result of this journey that I went on for four months to lose weight, I've lost a lot of weight. Almost a year now that I did my Juice Plus plan, I'm still maintaining the weight. I now know what to do when I feel too big, I want to detox. I go back to detox for two weeks, I'm back on plan. For how much? What is your health actually worth to you? Ask yourself that question. Don't wait till you're sick before you appreciate what health can be like. I know how much it can be, how expensive it can be to spend money. How many times a day is good to take apple cider vinegar? You know, it's entirely up to you. Some people put apple cider vinegar in their one liter of water and they keep drinking it. You, you shouldn't really overdose on it. But like, what I do say is too much of everything is bad. Moderation. Moderation. Two cups of apple cider vinegar is okay. 
for the day and keep drinking a lot of water to make up your remaining three liters. Drink your peppermint tea, drink your, you know, your herbal tea. Healthy lifestyle choice is for life. It's not because I want to lose weight for two days. No, it's a lifestyle thing. It's for life. And when you maintain it, everybody around you benefit from it. Because people see you, they see what you do. I was shocked when I got to Nigeria on this present occasion. And I saw my mother making, you know, the plantain flour. She has silo mosque in the house. So I bought into it. And I was like, wow, this is interesting. Because they look at you. They learn from you. So it becomes a lifestyle thing for the whole family. Why not? Why not? The black and ethnic minorities, we need it. We need the enlightenment. We need to keep telling each other we are the highest carrier of diabetes. We've got too much of it. Majority, majority of us are hypertensive. Do you know that when you change your lifestyle, hypertension can be reversed in most cases? You can reduce the number of medications you're taking. You can. Why put excess toxins you know, every tablet that is prescribed by your doctor has side effects. So why not live healthily, eat healthily, drink a lot of water, eat more fruits and vegetables, drink your shakes, you know, make your smoothies, eat right, eat more fish, walk more, do a bit more on a daily basis to promote healthy lifestyle for you and your family instead of spending your money on pharmaceuticals. Just like someone has said, when you choose not to use your money to buy the right kind of food, that is, using your money to buy more fruits and vegetables, using your money to buy good supplement that will help you, supplement that has just pure fruit and vegetable that will help you, help your family over time, that when you can buy, you can even get some supply for your children free of charge, what you will eventually do is spend that hard-earned money to buy medications that will be prescribed to manage conditions. A word is enough for the wise. I hope one or two of us have benefited from this today. Kindly help share this video, you just might never know. Prevent constipation, manage constipation, seek help. If you are obese, cut down on your weight, join our Juice Plus Health Plan. It's effective, it works. I have used it, lots of women around me have used it. All of us are in better health because of that. I have seen diabetes reversed as a result of the fact that people have lost a lot of weight. I have seen people cut down their blood pressure medication because they are now eating healthily. Be one of us. Prevention is always the way to go. Even if you are abroad now, look at what is happening in the NHS. The system is stretched. It's stretched. There is no money anymore. So spend your money to buy that health for yourself. When you're in the best state of health, you can make more money. When you struggle on a daily basis, running around trying to make money and all that, do you know the healthier you are, the more money you can make. The fitter you are, the more productive you will be. The lighter you are, the happier you will be. When you're not constipated, you can actually sleep and feel better. When you drink more water, your brain performance actually improves. That is the message for this evening. I hope I've been able to talk to one or two of us. Kindly help share this video. You just might never know someone who needs this help. And another thing I'd like to stress is, if you need any help around your weight loss management, kindly contact me on 078772544559. We support each other. That is what we do. I love you all. God be with all of us. If you have any questions, kindly ask before I log off. Have a fantastic evening, everybody, and have a beautiful week ahead. God bless us all. Bye now. Bye.